Okay, uh, welcome to example six. Uh, now, in the handout that I gave you, there was uh, a little error, some text that went missing that I forgot to put in. So you'll see something that says, suddenly it is struck by a three kilogram stone traveling horizontally at, it said, uh, two meters per second, but it should say eight meters per second to the right whereupon it rebounds at two meters per second horizontally left and that text went missing so what happens is the stone hits this block and then it rebounds backwards and so what you're looking for in this problem is the maximum distance that the block will compress this spring here with a spring constant of 500 newtons per meter now um, the, my hint for this problem is that you really need to break this problem into two parts the part with the collision between the stone and the block, and then the part afterwards where the kinetic energy of this block is then transferred into the elastic potential energy that's stored in the spring. So I would look at this and draw two more pictures. We'll call this picture number one, and let's draw two more pictures below it. Okay, so what I've drawn is two more pictures. This is the picture just after the collision, so picture two. So this is after the stone has hit the block. The block is moving to the right because it's been struck by the stone, and then the stone is moving backwards at two meters per second. Now remember, it's, if this is eight meters per second to the right, and we've indicated this as positive, then remember that this would be the negative two meters per second. A lot of people will forget that negative and then you're gonna get the wrong answer. You need to find this velocity two final is my hint. And once you find that, then look going from stage two to stage three. So you have to break it up into two parts, from part one to two, and then from part two to three. And you're looking for the compression of the spring from its original uh, unstretched length which is this X distance here and that's going to occur when all of the kinetic energy of this block is then transferred into store potential energy of this mass spring system here okay so now why do we need to break it up into these parts well you can't go from one all the way to two, three a mistake that someone might make would be that the kinetic energy of this stone is completely converted into potential energy of this spring and that's not true because it only transfers part of it to this block and then some of it then rebounds backwards so you're only looking at how much energy that is in this block because that's the energy that is transferred into the spring so now from one to two this is what we call a collision right and in collisions if there's no external forces and they said it's a frictionless horizontal table then we can assume that momentum is conserved from one to two and then from two to three well now we're looking at how much this spring compresses so we've got that kinetic energy being converted into elastic potential energy and so then we have to use the conservation of energy so the energy initially at 2 is equal to the energy finally at stage 3 now looking back at 1 to 2 we have the momentum of the stone we'll call that m1 so m1 is 3 kilograms and m2 is 15 kilograms so we have m1 v1 initial plus m2 v2 initial that's the now v2 initial that's this block and this block velocity two initial is zero meters per second. So this term is going to go to zero. And then after the collision, you have M1 V1 final plus M2 V2 final. So let's substitute our numbers in. You'll get three times eight equals three times, this is where people typically make mistakes, negative 2, remember that momentum is a vector, plus m2, which is 15 times v2 final. So go ahead and calculate that, and you'll get a velocity 2 final, which is 2 meters per second. So that's key, we need that. That velocity 2 final now becomes the initial velocity from 2 to 3. So now let's look from 2 to 3. What kind of energy do we have in the system? Now our system is really the mass attached to this spring. So we have 
kinetic energy. The spring potential energy is zero because this hasn't been compressed yet. So we have that kinetic energy of block two. So one half m2 v2 initial square, but that's really this velocity here equals uh, elastic potential energy, which is one half k x squared. You can cancel your halves. Mass two is 15 kilograms. Velocity two initial is velocity two final from process one to two. That's two meters per second squared equals k. Uh, this is k, by the way, the spring constant, which is 500 newtons per meter times x squared. So go ahead and put that in your calculator. And you should get x equals 0.346 meters. And that's your answer for number six. Okay.